And look at the Opals crash the boards there. Multiple numbers. Imagine back on the floor. Lob pass for Froling, who just steps between two defenders and adds two more. If they didn't call that foul, you'd be, you know, you'd accept it. But back-to-back uh... -back baskets for Chinese Taipei. Shyla Hill fires from just beyond the foul line. Off the mark. Good wrestle for the offensive board by Keely Froling, and she goes straight back to work and comes up with her first points in the game. For Kunick. Only starter on the floor for the Opals at the moment. Here's Froling. Puts it on the deck quickly and gets it done once more. Keely Froling now up to six. Chen Mong Shim with it. Shovel pass inside for Cheng was good, but the defence from Australia has been fantastic. They shut them down on the quarter time buzzer as well for Chinese Taipei. Almost four minutes played in the second. Australia on top by nine. As Froling muscles her way in close and comes up with two more. So she's now up to 12 points. I mean, looking forward to later in this competition. They were patient with it, but in the end, Liel Shi Ye really didn't get a high percentage look shot away. Rachi got it to Froling. Played two minutes in this final quarter. Quick penetration, but good D from Froling prevented Chen Mong Shin from getting any points. Froling in traffic, actually wrestles away free, ball dislodged. Decides to step down to the baseline nonetheless, and quick finish, 16 now for Keely Froling.